What's going on guys, Greg here um, with the second saver of the day. So I told you guys we had a uh, Kylo coming out and that is what I'm here to show off. This is a uh, Kylo Ren Black Series conversion. Um, so the big, the hefty one. Um, and I have to say this is the second time I've converted one of these and I'm liking it less and less every time. This is obviously nothing to do with the customer. It's just they're awkward to come apart. They're not, not that they're not meant for new electronics, but obviously they're not meant for new electronics. Um, and just putting new switches in, because right here you have your two switches are right there and there, um, was kind of a pain. It's just there's a lot of work that goes into it when there are much nicer uh, Kylo Ren renditions out there now. So, um, again, nothing against a customer. This is it's a fun saber. It's cool. It's, it's pretty because it's extremely accurate. Um, it's thick. I mean, I got, I got big hands, and my hands are, are barely wrapped around it. Um, but, but yeah, no. So um, now, but now the Corbanth Kylo V2 Phoenix Props has a, a Kylo. Um, my own opinion is to get one of those if you are going for a Kylo because one of these will run you a hundred, maybe one hundred fifty, and anyone who's charging for a conversion usually they'll charge a little bit extra because they have to undo this, and this thing is a pain to take the electronics out of the old electronics. So um, they'll probably charge you for it. And at that point, you might as well spend the extra 50 bucks to uh, to go with one of the newer ones because they're made for our electronics, not the old uh, Black Series Hasbro electronics. Um, but that being said, this is with a Spark Color 2. And overall, the Spark Color 2 is the, the, the Nigon, yeah, the Nigon boards. Yeah, took me a second, wow. Um, this is my first Nigon install, and when it comes to the install itself, is easy. The boards are really easy to install and really easy to use. I do think the programming is a little bit outdated um, when compared to Plector, and I'm not affiliated with either. I don't get paid by them. I don't, um, I don't get boards for free. That'd be awesome, but I don't. And so this doesn't do anything for me, if anything, it, it could bug someone at Nigon, but um, it just it. I felt like their their software was outdated. You can't use it on a Mac. It just overall it was it was kind of a pain, um, especially with the way that just if you have done a board, if you've ever installed something, you kind of know where there's just there's so many steps um, and processes to go through that it seems like it's almost too much and too tedious. Um, but aside from that, I mean the board itself does what it's supposed to do. It I mean, this is set up to do um, stagger ignition and flash on clash for all the blades which was tough to find but we did find it uh, which is awesome um let's see and it's awesome the, the one thing i do like about the boards is that you can set up if you've seen the boards there's four pads for the colors or for the for your main leds so you can set them you could wire it any way you want as long as you go into the program and set each color each you know one two three four to do what you want to do so that is a great feature that i absolutely love because we've all made mistakes wiring um even the best of us even the worst of us and so being able to do that and walk in and just fix something like that without desoldering and resoldering and all that stuff is awesome so um, props for that um, so what i did is like i said the uh, spark color 2 with red red amber leds uh, the amber does show up really well. You can, again, with the program, you can kind of really, really mess with that. We did uh, one amber die, even though it's a trichry, one amber die and the two quad blades because it just, it was overpowering and it looked really, really like out of place when you had these really, really bright side blades and then these, this semi-bright considering like com comparative um, main blades. So we, we took out one LED um, and so it's just a red amber, and then the main blade is red, red amber. For the internal chassis, it is just a regular chassis off Shapeways. The uh, customer sent it to me. It was a little bit small for the hilt, but I don't think there is one made for this hilt. Um, but what I did was, if I can get this off because it's pain, so twist off the pommel. And this piece, which inside, which usually goes over the, uh, the battery, I cut it. And so it's hollow, so the sound gets through and it's held in place by the pommel when it's screwed on. And the chassis is inside there. 
and you can just reach in and you can pull the kill key as is or you can slide the whole chassis out you can see it does slide out um just enough to get sd card access you can't get access to the whole card if you wanted that you could take the entire sarah apart which i do not allow or recommend because it's just it's too much of a pain um but yeah so let's get um actually before i do that the other thing is that the red what you call it the red wire is you, to take the sarah apart you have to pull it off and it's just uh, rubber and you have to glue it back on and if you can see already right now just while handling the saber part of it came off uh, so I'm gonna have to obviously re-glue that but I mean the red wire is really sensitive so be careful when you're holding it. I would hold the saber if you're swinging it away from the red wire so um, if you have the option or the ability to do that I would do that because you're just gonna rip it off and you'll get really mad and really annoyed because it's a pain to glue back on, or you'll break it and then no one's happy. Um, so yeah, so let's get it fired up. I don't actually know which sound fonts are on here because I get the customer had uploaded them beforehand. Um, I just reprogrammed for the stagger ignition, etc. cetera. Um, so I don't even know, I, it sounded like one of them was um, Kylo Ren TFA from Shamim, I'm not positive. And the other one did sound like Unhinged from Mad Cow, but I'm, again, I'm not positive, so um, don't quote me on that. So let's get this out. So kill key out. Just gotta be careful because I'm pulling the saber. So that is your boot sound, and then you would put this here. And if you look inside, how there's a slot. You want to line that up when there's a kill key with the kill key. But for now, you don't need to worry about that. And then this is just gonna sit inside because the palm will actually line it up perfectly and then when you screw it on it's just the right size where it press fits against the chassis um, and like I said and then it, it works well and I don't know which one I forget which one's the activation but yeah you have activation and auxiliary or vice versa Let's see if we can get this you really got it so say you have your four For the lockup, it's there we go. It's it's weird, but you see, you press again. So, so that is. Um, and honestly, I don't. I shouldn't admit this, but I actually don't know how to change the sound fonts. I haven't read the manual. Um, I know they're there, I know they're uploaded properly, I just, I haven't read the manual enough to know how to do that, and I wasn't thinking when I made this video to do that. But I know they're on there, I know they are on there correctly, and what I also did for the customer was most of the sound fonts, especially like, think of TFA, um, Kylo, TFA, um, the way that Shamim did it where he had like two power-ons that were non-staggered and then two power-ons that were and so for each sound font, I only have the staggered power on. So no matter what, you'll always have the staggered ignition. Because uh, if not, it would go like, you know, you know, it would make the noise. But it would be one light and then it would stop having any noise or just be the hum. And then the other lights would come on because there wouldn't be the, the, the cross guard sound. Um, so obviously we don't want that. So I only put the cross guard um, power on sounds. And let's not, don't quote me on that, that sound that we just had. Um, the one other thing is that the blade retention screw, main blade is right there, and then the two others are under the bottom. We have, this holds the, the quadrillion in place on each side, this one in here, so no touching that. And the outside one is your blade retention. Um, for this saber, what we did was, the customer is just gonna have the stock blades on the side. And then whatever he wants to do for a main blade. Um, and I'm not sure. I know that it's, it is one inch all the way through. Um, and then, like I said, whatever the customer wants to do, uh, he, can, he can do with it as he pleases. So 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that is it. Um, yeah, so I said I have one more saver for this customer. It's an Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode one, two. Um, that'll be done in the next week or so. Um, again, depending on how the internship goes, if you guys saw my last video, you'll know that I'm, I'm in a new internship and that comes first. Uh, so that'll be it.